Welcome back to another video. Today I am taking you along on part four of our pantry use it up challenge. It's just a really great way to make sure that we're using up what we have in a more mindful way, hopefully have less waste. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stick around. This is Savvy Saute. Last Monday, I had a Kodiak waffle with peanut butter, a banana, and a protein shake and got out the door to go to Costco, which is quite a drive for us. And there were so many things that I needed for summertime, the yard, household products. So while I was over there on that side of town, I decided to pick up some more essentials that we were needing and then also got some items that were either really on sale or seasonal things. So if you want to see that video, which includes our meal plan, you can check that out down in the description box. I just got back from Trader Joe's and Costco and all the shopping today. So I'm going to be sharing with you how to make an easy chicken and dumplings with the rotisserie chicken that I got this time. I started out by chopping up an onion with baby carrots and you can also add some celery too. I put all of that into a large soup pan with one tablespoon of butter, some salt and pepper to season, and sauteed that until it was soft. I'm going to have two cups of flour and then a tablespoon plus a teaspoon of baking powder. And add in our seasoning, salt, pepper, parsley. We need three-fourths cup of milk and four tablespoons of melted butter. Back over to our veggies, I'm adding in one tablespoon of flour to give it some thickening. Just mix that all together really well so that it can start cooking and then you're going to add in your chicken broth for the soup. I did not need the entire chicken for the soup so I used all but one chicken breast. That way I can use white meat for another meal a different day. Once our broth or soup comes to a boil, we can go ahead and drop in our biscuit dough. Then we just need to cover the pot with a lid and let those dumplings cook for about 15 minutes until they're cooked all the way through. So you just wanna make sure that they're cooked all the way through. So if you test it, you'll see it's not doughy inside. It's completely cooked and that is ready. On Tuesday morning, I was packing lunch for my son to take to school and getting breakfast ready for him at the same time. He is a big part in packing his lunch, so we usually do that together. Breakfast was really easy to have a freezer sandwich, and then I had all those hot packets made ahead of time as well, so he had some of those for lunch. He is almost to the point where he can pack his own lunch without me supervising, so we're practicing that, and I think for third grade, he'll be ready. breakfast I usually try to have a good mix of protein and carbs so I had some Kodiak waffles and a shake and then for my lunch I pulled out my leftover Jimmy John's and just made a new sandwich with it basically this was actually the sandwich that I had purchased for Malin and she didn't want it so it was just ham and cheese and I had to doctor it up myself and for dinner I pulled out two different kinds of leftovers and everyone just kind of picked what they wanted Another breakfast I made last week was an egg ham and cheese croissant sandwich, which is so delicious. Those Costco croissants cannot be beat. So if you have access to that store, I definitely recommend them. And if you can't use them fast enough, they freeze really well. The soup from Trader Joe's, I would rate like a five out of 10, but it was nice to have something already made and ready for me that I didn't have to think about. This next meal is one of my favorites. It's so easy to put together with leftover rotisserie chicken or cooked meat that you have and just put together some chicken salad wraps. Everyone can have their own version. So Dakota wanted a Caesar. The kids had Colby Jack on theirs with ranch and then I made mine like a Greek salad. I served everyone's meal with either a baked potato and cheese or some potato chips that we had and the tortillas were left over from my business. So I just wanted to make sure I used those up. And then what I like to do is mix all of the salad items together before layering it in the wrap. It just lets every bite have some good flavor and sauce. 
My two-year-old is not one for a chicken salad wrap, so she had some rotisserie chicken and cheese on a baked potato, and then everyone else either had a baked potato with cheese or potato chips with their wrap. So our meal came together in like 10 minutes. Okay, so back for my son's lunch, I enjoy packing him these little ranch cups from fast food places because I don't have to wash stinky old ranch cups that he forgets to put in the sink until after the weekend. So I just put together a little homemade Lunchable with cheese, pepperoni, crackers, some fresh veggies, and then those fruise balls that I've shown you before. And then for a special treat after Easter, I used a plastic egg and put some peanut covered chocolates no chocolate covered peanuts in there and Malin really wanted to have her own lunchable for breakfast and then i made myself and weston some of these little bagel bites for breakfast and served it with ham and i think we ended up having some fruit at some point as well so that was one of my favorite breakfasts because bagels are the bomb I used the last of the rotisserie chicken for my lunch that day and I just did a copycat of the same thing that I made for dinner the night before. I actually use ranch dressing as my sauce for that. There's a Greek restaurant that I go to in Michigan and they have a pink creamy Greek dressing and I haven't figured out the recipe for it yet but ranch mixed with the beets comes the closest. For dinner, I thawed out two boneless skinless chicken breasts and I used that for pad thai. Of course, I will have the recipe for you in the description box. I am going to be sauteing some onion with some vegetable oil, and once that's soft, I'll add the garlic to it. And for the sauce, I'm just mixing brown sugar, rice vinegar, soy sauce, and garlic chili sauce. Once I have my sauce made, I'm going to set that aside, get my garlic in with my sauteed onions, cook those until they're nice and fragrant, and then I'm going to scramble my eggs. So I'm going to use three eggs for my family of four. Malin doesn't eat very much, but if you want more, of course, you can add that. There really is no specific recipe on how much vegetables or eggs that you mix in with this. I chose to add the angel hair coleslaw. It's just so good in pad thai. And then I took all of that, set it aside, and used that skillet to cook my chicken. I just seasoned it with some salt, garlic, and some paprika. And then I decided to throw in some dried chives because I had it and I knew it would add some more flavor. So then I needed to add a little bit of water to help it cook more. I didn't really feel like adding more oil to it. And then once those were fully cooked, I can go ahead and add in all of my sauce and all of the vegetables that I sauteed. So I get all of that coated in the flavor and then I can add my softened rice noodles to that. I also wanted to have some peanuts on mine and I've seen where you can add peanut butter to your sauce if you wanna try that. I steamed some frozen broccoli in the microwave, served that on the side. I definitely recommend this meal, it was so good. I was able to incorporate some things with Weston's lunch that needed to get used up. So I made him a chicken salad wrap sandwich with ranch and cheddar cheese or Colby Jack cheese. And then he had the last of the blueberries from the fridge that really needed to get used up. And then for breakfast, I ended up just giving him one of the peach yogurts that we needed to get out. And then we had some Canadian bacon and some like hamburger buns that I wanted to make sure we used before they went bad. So I just layered the ham and the cheese on the rolls, all four of them, got them prepped ahead of time. So Malin and I actually shared one with some fruit and then Weston had one for breakfast and the other two got put into the freezer for an easy lunch another day. For my lunch, I ended up using a Madras lentil packet and brown rice that just go into the microwave. We're all out of prepped meat in my fridge, so this was a really quick protein for me, and it was so delicious. I ended up using a ton of vegetables that needed to get used as well. A big handful of spinach, I used onion, broccoli, got that all chopped up and sauteed down into a skillet and just layered that in a bowl. And then I also put some Greek yogurt on top like sour cream. And it actually tasted very Hispanic to me. It didn't actually taste Indian like the lentils say that they are. It was so delicious. I wanted to be part of my normal rotation for lunches. It was so good. I've mentioned before I love having these chicken sausages in my fridge for an easy, quick dinner. It just keeps us from ordering food out. We're also gonna have some baked potatoes and then I'm going to layer that with some cheese and have the rest of the broccoli that was in the fridge. 
So what I like to do is slice the sausages, put them into a skillet just to get a nice char on them because they're already fully cooked. So I am using the chicken sausages that have pineapple and bacon in them and that just goes best I feel like with barbecue sauce. This meal comes together in like 10 minutes it is such a crowd pleaser. I did go to the grocery store before we had a bunch of friends over on Saturday. I wanted to make sure we had enough food for lunch that day. And then I knew we'd be making s'mores. So I could not find any great value big marshmallows, but I did get these flat s'mores style marshmallows that were fantastic. Of course, I had to get a bunch of water because we'd be working outside all day. So here is the haul. I'm going to make little deli slider sandwiches. So I bought two bags of these butter rolls like Hawaiian King. I also picked up some grapes for some fruit salad, strawberries, a cantaloupe, a pineapple. And then I also wanted to have chips on the side. So we got barbecue chips, sun chips, cheddar harvest or harvest cheddar, and then the sour cream and cheddar ones as well. I also got the candy for the s'mores. These are the Fresh Stacks graham crackers, so they're really small packs in there sealed up. I got the regular Hershey's, cookies and cream Hershey's, and then Reese's. So if you haven't tried those on s'mores, make sure you do. And then these marshmallows are so cool. If you can see, they're like completely square and flat. They work so easy with s'mores. Saturday was so much fun. It was like the kickoff to summer for us. We had our friends that are family to us over. The guys were building the playground set for the kids. Us girls were cooking together and just creating all of these fun memories with our kids. And I am just so grateful for the life that we get to build together. And spending less, creating more, it is a lifestyle. I'm grateful that we get to use our resources to bless one another and enjoy the time that we have. We can go out and buy Pizza Hut because we spent less on groceries for months prior. So if you are interested in spending less and creating more, make sure you stay tuned for more videos. I hope you are inspired today. And of course, until the next video, I'll see you in the comments.